In the vast tapestry of television history, where each thread weaves stories of bygone eras, there exists a gem that shines with a timeless brilliance. The 1959 TV series Rawhide. Cast your thoughts back, dear reader, to that first flicker of black and white, when the screen danced with anticipation and the air hummed with excitement. Do you remember the feeling of venturing into the uncharted territories of the Wild West, riding alongside cattle drovers in dusty trails? Can you recall the vivid characters that emerged from the screen, as if stepping out of the shadows of memory into the light of your living room? Perhaps you found yourself perched on the edge of your seat during the electrifying scenes that played out across those episodes. The thud of hooves, the cracking of whips, and the echoing twang of a harmonica, it all combined to create a symphony of rugged charm that still resonates within you. Was it the charismatic Rowdy Yates, the trail boss Gil Favor, or the unexpected camaraderie that kindled your fascination? Now, let us pivot our gaze toward the stage where history meets trivia. The corral of random facts about rawhide beckons, each tidbit a pebble that sends ripples across the pond of your memory. Imagine uncovering the curious origins of the show's iconic theme song, or discovering the subtle nuances that the actors injected into their performances. Venture forth with me as we unearth these treasures, bringing to light the anecdotes that only deepen our appreciation for this classic series. And so, as we stand on the precipice of exploration, ready to embark on this journey of discovery, remember that the screen may be silent, but the echoes of Rawhide continue to reverberate through time. It's a testament to the power of storytelling, a bond between generations that transcends the boundaries of the past and the present. Let's delve into the heart of the show's legacy, unearthing those hidden gems that make it truly unforgettable. Unexpected turn of fate, the downfall of Rawhide, and the mysterious departure of Gil Favor in a surprising twist that left fans of the hit 1959 TV series Rawhide bewildered. The show took a drastic turn in its eighth season that ultimately led to its demise. The main character, Gil Favor, portrayed by Eric Fleming, was abruptly removed from the series, and the reins were handed over to none other than Clint Eastwood's character. What followed was a cascade of events that led to a plummet in ratings, ultimately sealing the fate of the once-beloved show. The decision to shift the focus to Clint Eastwood's character was shrouded in mystery, leaving fans and critics to speculate on the reasoning behind this bold move. Although Eric Fleming humorously alluded to the studios attempting to save a million dollars with this swap, it seems that financial considerations were not the sole factor at play. Curiously, the true motivation behind this sudden change remains obscured by time. As Clint Eastwood's character took center stage, the ratings that had once propelled Rawhide to the forefront of television dramas began to dwindle. The chemistry that had been cultivated over previous seasons appeared disrupted and the show's loyal viewership began to wane. This downward spiral ultimately culminated in the cancellation of the series, marking the end of an era in television history. Despite the uncertainty that surrounds the decision, what remains clear is the lasting impact of Rawhide and the legacy it left behind. The charismatic characters, rugged landscapes, and riveting storylines are still remembered fondly by those who tuned in week after week. And so, the tale of Rawhide serves as a reminder that even the most successful shows can be susceptible to unexpected shifts, leaving fans to wonder what might have been if the show had stayed the course. As the credits rolled on this once thriving series, the enigma of Gil Favor's departure and Clint Eastwood's ascent lingers on, an enduring puzzle in the annals of television history. Rawhide, unraveling the enigmatic film release that almost escaped Clint Eastwood's notice in the realm of classic television. Few shows have left an indelible mark like the 1959 series Rawhide. This iconic western drama, known for its gripping narrative set against the rugged backdrop of cattle drives, introduced viewers to a young and promising actor by the name of Clint Eastwood. Little did the audience know, behind the scenes lay a tale of unexpected twists and turns that would reverberate through the annals of entertainment history. As the show's popularity surged, attention turned to the remarkable backstory of its star, Eric Fleming. In his earlier days, a tragic incident during his time in the Navy left Fleming's face marred by a 200-pound steel block. And during a harrowing experience, he underwent intricate plastic surgery that painstakingly reconstructed his features. This transformation, largely unknown to many fans, added a layer of resilience to his portrayal of the tough-minded trail boss Gil Favor. 
Yet, it is Clint Eastwood's entry into the world of Rawhide that remains a curiosity to this day. Remarkably, when the series commenced, Eastwood was a mature 28 years old, a far cry from the tender age of his character, Rowdy Yates, who was scripted to be 19. The camera's enchantment with his youthful visage exemplified Hollywood's penchant for bending reality to fit the narrative, a practice that often blurs the lines between fact and fiction. However, it is the narrative outside the small screen that captivates even more. By the mid-1960s, Clint Eastwood was ascending the ladder of stardom, gaining prominence with his collaboration on two spaghetti westerns directed by Sergio Leo. Sensing an opportunity to capitalize on his burgeoning fame, the producers of Rawhide engaged in a hasty endeavor. They amalgamated two distinct episodes, Incident of the Running Man and the Backshooter, stitching them together with additional footage. This Frankenstein-like creation was christened The Magnificent Stranger, and it thrust Clint Eastwood's image front and center. Debuting in Italy in 1966 and subsequently in West Germany in 1967, The Magnificent Stranger became an inadvertent attempt to propel Eastwood's fame across European shores. Yet, little did Eastwood know about this unauthorized endeavor until later, when he was perturbed by the producer's audacity. The film's release stirred the legal waters, prompting Eastwood to unleash a cease and desist order, halting its distribution and effectively pulling the film from further releases. Remarkably, this cinematic oddity, meant to exploit Eastwood's early stardom, became a footnote in his trajectory rather than a cornerstone. And so, nestled within the rich tapestry of Rawhide, this peculiar episode stands as a testament to the intricate dance between art and commerce, between actor and industry. An enigmatic footnote in Clint Eastwood's storied career, the magnificent stranger remains a phantom relic, a transitory moment etched in the archives of television history. Incident of the Deaf Dancer, a remarkable peek into the early stars of television and a captivating twist on the beloved TV series Rawhide. An episode titled Incident of the Death Dancer aired on December 5, 1963, introduced future icons Dick York and Barbara Eden. Known for their roles in the later hits Bewitched and I Dream of Jeannie, respectively, the duo portrayed a cunning grifter couple. However, it was Barbara Eden's mesmerizing performance that stole the show. Ms. Eden's portrayal of the mysterious The Dance of the Opium Den left audiences spellbound. Clad in an outfit that would later become iconic in her role as Jeannie in the 1965 TV sensation I Dream of Jeannie, her dance brought an alluring and exotic flair to the episode. This tantalizing performance not only showcased Eden's remarkable talent but also hinted at the charisma that would later define her as one of television's most memorable leading ladies. Incident of the Death Dancer not only showcased the early brilliance of two future stars, but also demonstrated the artistic crossroads that often shaped the careers of Hollywood legends. Barbara Eden's dance remains etched in the annals of television history, not only as a mesmerizing moment in Rawhide, but also as a precursor to the iconic role that would define her career. With this episode, Rawhide continued its tradition of blending drama, talent, and innovation, cementing its status as a series that consistently pushed the boundaries of entertainment. As the show drew inspiration from the historical Missouri to Texas cattle drives of the 1,700 seconds and 1,800 seconds, this unique episode serves as a reminder of the series' ability to weave together historical narratives with the creative spirit of television. In a world where the convergence of past and future shapes the present, Incident of the Death Dancer remains a remarkable peek into the early careers of stars who would come to define the television landscape. The dance, the intrigue, and the chemistry between the actors all underscore the indelible mark left by this episode, showcasing the power of storytelling to bridge the gaps between eras. With their legacy firmly established, Dick York and Barbara Eden's appearance on Rawhide remains a testament to the ever-evolving nature of television and the way it shapes the trajectory of iconic careers. Clint Eastwood's storied boots, a tale from Rawhide set in the annals of television history, Few series have left as indelible a mark as the 1959 TV show Rawhide. Led by the charismatic Eric Fleming, the show rustled up tales of life on the rugged cattle trails. However, a recent release of DVD packages has cast a spotlight on another figure who emerged from the dusty plains of Rawhide, none other than Clint Eastwood. Though Fleming was the star, Eastwood's later fame has taken center stage in these newly minted collections. 
This shift in prominence is no mere oversight, but a nod to the legendary path Eastwood tread after his days as Rowdy Yates. Yet, Eastwood's rise to superstardom was no fluke, as his early years on Rawhide showcased his raw talent and magnetic presence. Delving deeper, a connection surfaces between Eastwood's time on Rawhide and his subsequent collaborations. Notably, Eastwood partnered with George Kennedy in movies like Thunderbolt, and Lightfoot and the Iger Sanction. This dynamic duo's off-screen camaraderie translated seamlessly to the silver screen, capturing audiences' imaginations once again. But perhaps the most riveting link lies in Eastwood's iconic wardrobe. The very gun and boots he wielded in his spaghetti westerns, classics like A Fistful of Dollars, For a Few Dollars More, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, found their origin on the Rawhide set. Those same boots, weathered by the trials of the Old West, carried Eastwood's legacy forward into his later masterpiece, Unforgiven. In a twist that mirrors the spirit of the Wild West, Clint Eastwood's journey from rawhide to cinematic immortality stands as a testament to the show's enduring legacy. As the iconic boots continue to walk through time, they remind us of the path that led a young actor from cattle drives to the silver screen. And in a world captivated by change, these boots remain steadfast, like the memories of Rawhide etched in our collective consciousness. As we ride off into the sunset of reminiscence, I hope this journey through the trails of the 1959 TV series Rawhide has stirred your own memories and emotions. Just as Cattle Drives bonded the characters in the show, perhaps this exploration has rekindled your own personal connection to those moments. Rawhide wasn't merely a show, it was a gateway to a world of camaraderie, adventure, and the resolute spirit of the open range. As you reflect upon the campfire tales and unforgettable escapades, I encourage you to let your thoughts roam free, much like the cattle on the plains, and share your treasured memories and insights about Rawhide. What was it about the show that captivated you? Was it the iconic characters, the rugged landscapes, or the thrilling narratives that left an indelible mark on your heart? Your reflections can help keep the spirit of Rawhide alive, rustling up echoes of bygone days. So, saddle up those thoughts and ride them into the corral of conversation. Your words might just be the lonesome cowboy's song that resonates with fellow admirers, connecting them over time and space. Thank you for taking this excursion down memory trails with me. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated as we celebrate the enduring legacy of Rawhide. Until our trails cross again, keep the spirit of those rolling prairies and unforgettable moments alive in your heart. Wishing you endless adventures and cherished reminiscences.